Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'll be showing you how to draw Godzilla and Kong versus Scar King and Shimu in a surprise fold. So if you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Godzilla and Kong versus Scar King and Shimu surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. Let's start by lining up the corners of our paper and giving it a nice fold right down the middle. So it kind of looks like a card. Next, we're going to fold it one more time, line up the corners, and giving it another nice fold. This way it looks like a big bookmark. Now when you open this up, you have these nice little guidelines that show you where you need to keep the inside of your drawing. And I like to turn my paper this way so I can open it up for a nice surprise. Now to start off with this, let's begin by drawing Kong right here. So I'm going to start with this eye. Let's begin by making a line that's just going to go down, and then it's going to come back here in like a check mark shape. Next, we're going to draw a line that's going to go over, and we'll bring it up. I always like to add a little line or two right underneath the eye. Starting here, we'll draw a line down to start his nose. And then I'll make a line that's going to come up, and then down, and then back in. I'll put a little curve in here for the inside of his nose. Then let's just draw a little line that comes right down here to the fold. Next, I'm going to bring this line up. We're going to come down and bring it in. And then I'm going to curve this line down. And then right here, I'm going to add a little line that comes down here. Right here, I'm going to make a little zigzag that goes down and up, and then down like this. And for the ear, we'll make a little line that curves around. And we'll do a little bump in there. Now right here, I'm going to make some little pointed lines that are just going to come right over here off the page. Now let's draw the underneath part. I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's just going to go down and then over. We'll make a line that's going to come down here and we'll bring this up. Next, starting here, we're going to make a few little pointed lines that are going to go down, and then they're going to come back up for his beard. Then we're going to draw a line that's just going to come down here for his chest. Now our next step is to draw Godzilla over here. So let's start right about here, and we're going to make a line that's just going to go down, and then it's going to come back here in that check mark shape. Then for the eye, we'll draw a line that comes over and then up. Let's bring this line down and let's add a couple more little lines right there. And then we'll make a little line or two underneath there. Starting here, I'm going to bring this line up, and we'll come down, and then we'll just bring it over here towards Kong. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down, and then it's going to come straight down. And we'll make a little line that's going to curve around there for his nose. Let's draw a line that's going to come down and over. And then let's make another one. It's going to go down, and then it's going to come over to here. Then I'm going to add a, a couple spikes up here. We'll do one here, and we'll do one more that just goes off the paper. Now our next step over here is to draw Scar King and Shimo. Let's start with Scar King. So let's begin by drawing a line that's just going to go down, and then it's going to come up here and kind of curve in that check mark shape. 
I'll draw a line that's just going to go down and come up here. And then I'm going to add a couple more little lines coming down. Underneath here, we'll draw a couple more little lines. Then I'm going to bring this line up and over. Right here, we'll make a little line that comes down. And then we'll draw a little line that's just going to curve around for the nose. And we'll put a little kind of C-shape in there. Next, I'm going to bring this line down. And then up here, we're going to make the head. Let's begin by drawing a line that goes up and in. And then another one's going to go up and in. I'm going to curve this line up and then down here. And then I'm going to make some little kind of like zigzag lines that come down here. And then I'm going to make a couple more for this hair on top. Starting here, we'll draw a line that's just going to come down. And we'll draw another line that's going to come down here. We'll draw a line here for the ear, and then just put a little curve around there with a little bump in there for the inside. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and in for the mouth. And then we'll draw a line that's just going to go down and then up here. Starting here, we're going to make some little points that come down. And then I'm going to just bring these up here. Now, he kind of carries that whip that is made of bones. So to draw this, let's just begin by drawing a line that's going to come up, over, and down. We'll draw a line here. We'll do that same thing, just up, over, and down. Draw another line. We'll go up, over, and down. And then we'll just go right here. And we'll draw a little line here. Next, we're going to draw a line down. And then we'll do that same thing, draw a line. And then we'll just make two lines down here. Then we're going to make some little zigzag lines down here. Now, starting here, let's work on Shimo. So I'm going to begin right about here, and we're going to draw a line that's just going to go down. Then it's going to come up and down here in that check mark shape. We'll make a line that goes over and up for the eye. And then we'll put a couple little curved lines in here. I'm going to bring this line up, and we'll come down to a point. We'll go over and up again, or down, and then we'll go right over to here. Next, we're going to bring this over and then down. And then we'll make a little line that's going to curve down here and kind of curl around. I'm going to draw a couple little lines here. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and over. And then one more that's going to go down, and then we're going to bring it to here. I'll add two little spikes down here. I'll add a little curve right in here. And then I'm going to add some spikes right on the top here for Shimo. So let's kind of fill in some spikes. 
So now that we have this all drawn out, we need to open this up and draw the inside. Now, once we open this up, we have two halves of our four characters. So let's begin with Kong right here. So let's start by drawing a line that's just going to come down. I'm going to curve this up, and then we're going to bring it down here. Next, let's start here. We're going to bring this up, down, and then we're going to bring it up here. We'll bring this line down a little bit. And then starting here, I'm going to bring this line down. And then I'm going to curve it up to here. And we'll bring this line up. Now let's add some teeth. I'm going to make a little bump here and then a little pointier one here. And we'll put a couple little bumps here. We'll do the same thing here, a little bump a pointier one, and then another smaller one. Let's make a line that's just going to curve up and down, and then we'll bring it back here, and that'll be his tongue. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. We'll jump over the tongue to here, and we'll draw another line right down here. That way we can kind of see where his mouth is. Now let's work on Godzilla. Let's begin by drawing this line down and then we're going to bring it over to here. Then we'll bring this line up and we'll bring it to here. Then starting here I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out and then I'm going to make another line that's going to come out. I'm going to make some pointed zigzag shapes on here so we have kind of like Godzilla's blast. Then let's add some teeth. I'm going to make some sharp pointed teeth in here and then some sharp pointed teeth right around here. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down to the blast. So it's going to jump over everything and come here. Then we'll put one more here. That way it looks like it's coming out of his mouth and not Kong's. Now, our next step is to come over here and work on Scar King. So I'm going to begin by drawing this line down. I'm going to bring this up. And then we're going to come down. Then we'll bring this up and down here. We'll bring this line down, and then I'm going to bring this line up and down, and then we'll curve it around here, and we'll bring this up. Now for his teeth, we'll make a small bump, we'll make a sharper one, and then a couple more bumps. And we'll do the same thing, add a couple bumps, make a sharper one, and then another small one. Now, for his mouth, let's begin by drawing a line that's just going to come down. We'll make a line that goes up and down and up, and then we'll bring it back for the tongue. And then we'll just bring this down. Then we'll make another line right here. Now, for Shimo... Let's draw this line that's going to come down, and then we'll bring it up. And then we'll bring this line up and over to here. We'll put some sharp teeth in the mouth. And we'll do the same thing here, just a row of sharp teeth across the bottom. And then we're going to do that same thing. We're going to make a blast come out of here. So we're going to draw a line that comes out, and then one that comes out here. Now these I'm going to kind of angle out a little bit more because this is going to be more of like an ice blast. So I'm going to angle this with some points. 
Then I'll make a line that comes down. And then we'll jump over everything here. And then we'll make another line down. So we can show that this is coming out of his mouth. And that way it doesn't look like it's coming out of Scar King. And there you go. There is your drawing of a Godzilla and Kong versus Scar King and Shimo surprise fold. Want to have it all folded up? We have all four Titans facing off. And then when we open it up, we can see that they are roaring at each other and they have their ice and fire blasts going. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.